Hello beautiful Pisces and welcome to your extended. My name is Jane and I do two readings a day for the Pisces Collective. So really nice reading this morning, very heartfelt, true to the heart. And I feel very accurate, very human, the stuff that we feel as we're doing stuff. I feel a dogged determination for you though, very diligent in the path that you've chosen for yourself. And I feel that's going to hold pretty strong all through 2022 for you, Pisces. You finally know in the direction you want to go into. It may not be completely clear because I feel you're going from the world card into the fool card. But you definitely know that there's something better for you to be doing. And I feel that is what's been coming through. Now I'm going to take a chakra reading card for you. Um... If you haven't seen this morning's reading, go ahead and watch that first because I'm going to be taking this one apart. Uh, the thing is, is I'm, I ask Spirit to just kind of give their take on, this is like your everyday human world. Then we go into the Spirit realm and ask them what they think of this, okay, what we can do and utilize them. I like their point of view because they usually put a lot of spirituality in there. Two cards came out. Oh, and I love the fact that they brought out another green card. If you remember, uh, we had the emerald green that really, mm, and there we go. We have some green here, but we also have beautiful white. Gorgeous, 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 okay? Um, yeah. You have relationships underneath the deck. I feel that relationships is something that is always going to, it's not like a plague, but it's going to bother us a little bit all the time of what we leave behind, you know, who's going to be, be stuck in their own lives doing their own thing. But it's okay, Pisces, you know, it's time. Um, here you have holistic health and you have inner child. So I'm going to read from those a little bit, give you a little bit of what they want to um, tell you. Of course, it's the root chakra. I'm feeling that very, very much. Actually, it's the, the base chakra, root chakra, same thing. So... With the holistic, it says that uh, it is your natural state of being to be healthy in all aspects of your life. Your mind, body, and spirit are constantly working to attain good health. Due to the world we live in, though, which is filled with stress and toxic chemicals, disharmony is prevalent. Um, the body, however, has an innate intelligence to heal. Your job is to get out of its way and clear the emotional mental imbalances so the body can heal itself. And that I believe a lot. I feel that... If you listen to your body, you will see where you have the most problems. Like, it's the spaces that are hurting are the spaces that need clearing. And, of course, it's good to see a healer, okay, to see if there's anything else from your environment that might be affecting you. But your emotional and energetic states really have a lot to do with that, okay? Um... Disease and sickness can occur on many levels. The body can store old emotions and belief, which in time can create imbalances in your outer energy, causing disharmony and disease. Healing is holistic, and when you can work on the many layers of being, miracle healing can occur, and a state of well-being can take place. Have you been feeling out of bounds, sluggish, and generally unwell? It's time to tune in and become aware of any disharmony in your field. It's time... Do what's required for holistic healing to occur. It's time to expand your awareness and look behind the issue of what emotion or outdated belief system could be causing an imbalance. You are the most powerful person in your life to create profound healing. It's time to look at yourself holistically and let go of anything that is not serving your highest purpose at this time. Do what is required to nurture this process, whether it is to go and see a healer, massage therapist, start a daily practice like yoga, meditation, or some form of exercise. You may also be guided to change what you eat or change something in your environment. Whatever your mind, body, and spirit is calling you to do, it is a perfect time to take action and invite holistic healing into your life. Okay, the affirmation is every little cell in my body is happy and healthy. So that's one of the things that I myself will be looking at in 2022. Do, not that I feel uh, a general sense of unwell, but I feel that there are parts of me that could, um, could increase in the way um, it's healing. And I could be a very great, generous benefactor to that by taking care of myself and my energies. So this is telling you to do the same, to be very um, mindful of how your body feels 
in this year and the years to come because it is your chariot that's going to bring you into your new life. Very important, okay? So here you have the inner child 17. Love that. That's definitely the heart chakra. Um, and I do feel that you're going to have to live in your heart space. Your inner child and the root chakra have a very, very close relationship. So I feel right away because they came out together. If you have any inner child issues, this could be the people too that are watching you, the people, the, the last remnants of these towers and this and this nine of swords that I was talking about this morning where you're being watched, where it's making you uneasy. It's like the little remnant of things that you just haven't quite let go of yet, okay? It says, um, each person has within them aspects of the child. Those parts of us that can be vulnerable, misunderstood, unloved, not heard, and those wounded feelings we hold on to as children. When we take these experiences in our adult life and, and our connection to the inner child is sometimes forgotten, have you been beating yourself up lately or been down on yourself and allowed people and situations in your life to affect you negatively? Right. Okay, so this highlights that you're currently reacting to a situation from the perspective of the inner child. Old wounds may be open and you may feel trapped and confused. Know that it's time to give your inner child some love and care. Take some time to tune into this wounded being who lies within you. Ask what he or she requires in order to heal, again with the healing Okay, you may feel drawn to go and see a healer again, seeing a healer, or to simply take some quiet time to engage in an inner dialogue with this part of you. Whatever is required, know it's a powerful time of healing and breaking free from these old restraints. It's time to set your inner child free and allow this aspect of you to feel safe, loved, and heard. It is time to be fully engaged and present in your inner child to allow deep connection and healing. Love, love, love is the key. It's also very important to allow the inner child out to play. Life can become so serious and we forget to play, create joy, and have fun. When was the last time you played and felt like a kid? What does your inner child want to do? Go play on a swing, thanks, paint on and go to the beach. It's time to let your inner child express himself or herself with play and joy. Okay, so the affirmation is my inner child is free to express love and joy. Okay, so we did a lot of work on this last year, but Spirit figured it was good to mention this. As you're starting a new um, journey, sometimes those old conditions or that conditioning or that past hurt, even though you've healed a lot of it, will come back up, okay? And it's going to cause you some discomfort. I like the fact that they put these two together because they're very much related to one another, this beautiful inner child of yours, okay? Don't dim the light. Remember, you're going on this journey as your inner child would have, okay? Without fear and wonderment at the world. So, just remember and hold on to those healing thoughts and that work that you've done, okay, so long. You are attracting abundance, okay, with the scarlet. Look at all this red, okay, root chakra, base chakra. The power in you is coming out. Remember that, okay. All right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this apart and then I'm going to have Spirit uh, give their two cents on each card. So if you give me a minute here. We're going to take them out in order so that I can pull cards for them. Alright, Pisces. As I said, if you're not aware of this reading, please go check it out. Um, I did do it this morning. Okay. I'm going to use the regular Rider weight, the original, highly modified, no more borders. <laughs> All right, so Spirit, you ready? You ready to give your your beautiful advice? We start out with a death card. I mean, you can't do better than that with the death card. Transformation. Okay, chariot. Let me see if these cards are right. keep talking about the chariot all day and it comes out but it comes out in reverse. I feel it's because you're not quite done packing yet. Absolutely. The sun card but clarity. Okay, I love that. Chariot, clarity. Yeah, things have become clear. You're very enthusiastic about this change in your life. And they say you should be. Okay. 
you're illuminated right now and you have a burst of energy and vitality coursing through you. They don't want you to dull that, okay? Definitely brand new journey in front of you. So, so great, right? And the death card comes out again. So, Spirit says that you are right on cue, right on path with this. This is exactly what's going on with you, Pisces, okay? You are definitely going on a brand new journey. You're not quite taken off yet with the chariot. That energy is kind of subdued. But like I said, it's because you're packing it. You're not sitting in the chariot. You're kind of packing it. Just take it as you're going on a trip and you're loading up the car. You're not sitting in the driver's seat, but everybody knows you're going somewhere. Okay? You're very clear where you're going. You feel very sunny in this, in, in this position. Okay? And I'm talking about this as a trip, but I don't mean that it's a trip for every single one of you. I mean it's a journey. Okay? Whatever that means to you. Could be in love. Could be in career. Could be an actual trip. It could be uh, money. It could be anything. Anything that you feel it applies to you, it could be a brand new business idea, whatever it is, you're definitely putting things in place, okay? People know that something is happening, and this is going to be a major change. Two death cards, major change. Spirit says, this is a, this is a big one. It's one for the books in your journey and your life, okay? Very nice, very, very nice, okay? So, the next one was the Empress. At the heart of this is a lot of creativity, right? Look at this hard work coming out, okay? Intuition and looking back on things that did not work. You took the time to look at things that didn't work and you figured it out, okay? And between your hard work and your intuition, this is what's bringing on this major creativity, okay? You have brought this forward. Wisdom, intuition, and hard work. You have, this is the recipe, Spirit saying, you figured out the recipe of where you want to go, what you wanted to do, okay? And even though you may not have all the pieces, you have the pieces that matter, okay? You've put things forward, you didn't just do stuff for nothing. Even the stuff that may fall away as you're walking towards this path, served their purpose to let you know where you needed to go, okay? And this this is what came through. You finally understood that what was past that fell weren't failures, they were experience and wisdom, and what was left is let you know whether you wanted it or not. You may not you may not keep any of these cups. You may throw them over all of them such like that tower, but it's okay Pisces. You're absolutely okay with it. Everything is fine this way. Okay, so you had the hangman. So that's that's like that chariot upside down. Okay, so the King of Cups came out, but it's... Okay, the deck's in reverse. I'm going to put it up right side up. I figured as much. Turn the deck around. Uh -huh. Okay, they're funny. Okay. The Hangman's upside down. That's why it came out upside down. Queen of Pentacles. Well, look at all this royal energy coursing through you. Okay, so you got the queen and the queen and the king and the king and the, yeah, there you go. Right away, what's telling me is that, look at this, you have every suit here, including your own, that you live in. Okay, your cups energy, you have the queen of pentacles, you have the queen of, of wands, and you have the king of cups. So, yeah, it's, it's gorgeous in here, Pisces. And... This one. Didn't you get the King of Swords? You did. You got the King of Swords. It's in here somewhere. Yeah, it's right here. Okay. So you have all this royal mastered energy that you figured out. How'd you figure it out? You figured it out in your hang time. Okay. You figured out going, yeah, yeah, no, yes, yes, no, yes, yes, no. So this is like the nearing the end of your limbo. Okay. You're just Packing these energies up, the ones that you're going to use on your way, okay? The growth that you're going to experience, the spark that you're, this beautiful confidence and energetic uh, fire energy that you're going to step in. And of course, the king, um, smooth sailing no matter what's going on around you, okay? So this is all really, like they're saying, don't worry about this, okay? Um, it's time it's time you it's time for you to go you do you'll be fine you have 
all of this going for you, Pisces, okay? All right, so we had this Nine of Swords come out at the end of this row. This is externally what's going on for you. So I'm, I'm more curious to find out what they're going to say to do with this energy, Pisces. And again, the deck is, is yeah, we'll just leave it. So, yeah, you're moving away from trying to heal these people, okay? These eyes that are on you, these people who are critical, negative energy, anything that's causing you anxiety, you're, this is the card of healing and, and, and rest. You're at the end of this rest, okay? You've introspected enough. You've done enough assessing on these things. I feel like they're saying you've wasted enough time on this with these people. Okay, let them think what they want. Let them see what they want. The time is ready for you to move forward and do what you need to be doing. Okay, this is your time. It's your time to shine. And you have to kind of put it on the back burner like this reverse card. You got to put it away. You've done enough for this. Okay, you've done, you've, you've looked at it enough at a perspective of other people's point of view. It's time for you to look at things in your point of view. Okay? So the King of Swords. This is your mastery, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, you're done with this. Okay? You're ready to reconnect to what's important. You're done with this conflict. You're done with this limbo. Again, with the hangman that came out. Now it's twice, okay? It's it's time for you. You've mastered. Again, you see, with the hangman came out, and I said the king of swords. So you have all this royalty and two hangmans. Spirit says you have all the knowledge you need, okay? You, you can reconnect with what's important to you, and you can walk away from this conflict. It's time. It really is time, okay, for you to, to embrace this new world, this new life. And funny enough, I said world, the world card is next. It's also what's at the heart of you, Pisces, that important part. Mm -hmm. The moon, your intuition, okay? Page of Pentacles. Brand new apprentice. Don't want to take... Yeah, we'll take the strength card in this one. Okay, so... That's right. Your intuition, your willingness to learn as the page, okay? You feel the good news coming in. You feel the solid beginning. You feel like you've set goals, that you're practical, and that you're still cautious. But you have a lot of inner strength. The strength card... Uh, yeah, D did we have it again? I thought I... Maybe, nope, okay. Oh yes, it's underneath the deck, it's right here, okay? What you don't see but is still with you is underneath the deck, that strength card. You have it, you've had it for a while, okay? It's propelling you forward, you believe in yourself, you have that, that infinity sign on top of your head, okay? You're infinitely ready, you, at, at your core you know where you're going. You're gladly being the apprentice of your own life. You want to learn what makes you happy. You want to go on this journey. You want to um, put illumination with the moon, okay? You want to get rid of the reflections that are illusion. And you want to put real stuff into your life. And that's where you're going. That's what's at the heart of you, okay? The temperance came out in reverse. And that's because this new thing that you're going on is, is kind of pulling you in two little directions, right? You have an ending at hand and another card. I'm down. Let's see. You have an ending and then you have something that's bringing you great uh, harmony, okay? Let me see. Right. So... <clears throat> 
you're finally being who you want to be, but you're ending things that no longer served you, and you're finding that harmony. So I feel like you're in between, in between the ending what no longer fits you into something that does, okay? Your, your dreamer, yourself. Page of Cups for me is us. It's the young dreamer, the one with the cup, okay, that's open and ready to receive or ready to give. It doesn't matter. The tender heart, the gentle soul, the psychic, okay, and that inner child, that sensitive spiritual being that needs this kind of life to survive, okay, and that's what we are, but we forget that. We, we let life kind of bog us down. So this is excellent. This is, you are being in between, okay, and... It's the end of something and the beginning of something that fits you. So it's perfect. In the end balance is balance. I'm sorry for my phone. It didn't turn off. Turn it off completely. So you may hear it clicking, but don't worry about it. It's just click, 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 click. Maybe the click is like letting us know. All right. So the Queen of Cups came out. Another queen. Okay. You have the King and the Queen of Cups. The suit that is ours came out as a pair another union, another harmonious, and that may deal as well with your harmonious relationships, okay? We're not all just talking about walking a trail. We could be walking a trail of relationship as well. All right, <laughs> there's that nine of swords again. Oof, the ace of cups talking about love. So, you have, what is it? You have a chance for a fresh start. Spiritual growth or fresh start with somebody. The Queen of Cups is somebody who's introspective, okay? She's empathetic, she's receptive, she's sensitive. Uh, she's very emotional and loving. A dreamer, times, you know, more than the page. Uh, this could mean that some of you have choices to make. Maybe even too many choices, okay? Um... Spirit is saying, because this is spirit message, okay, in this part. And when the Queen of Cups came out the first time, I thought to myself, this is, this is nice energy, but it's very lovey-dovey energy. I feel that some of you are in fear that, I don't know, you're not going to be ready for this type of, um, of, of sensitivity inside of yourself. But what Spirit wants to remind you of here is that you are absolutely ready for anything. And that your options are many. Okay? Don't limit yourself to just um, one thing if you don't need to. Okay? And just because you offer love to somebody and it doesn't work out doesn't mean there's not going to be more choices along the way. This is, this is what I'm feeling with this. Okay, you're afraid of making the wrong choice. What if I pick somebody and then it doesn't work out? This is what I felt with this. Um, don't stay in there too long, okay? It's saying, give it a chance, give it a try, see what happens, okay? Follow it down the road. And if things need to be changed along the way, it's okay. There's more choices and more people that will show up in your lives, okay? Not everything is permanent. Some happens for a reason, a season, to teach you something, to make you see something, to make you cherish something, and that's okay, okay? All right, so you have the King of Wands and the Tower that came out together. And that felt like whatever you are disintegrating in your life, it was meant to come down. Okay, you brought it down. You shook it loose. Um, and that's this this king with the scarlet uh, color really, really came through in here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're very clear. 
Yeah, there you go. Okay, knew that the fool was somehow going to show up here at one point. You're very clear about this um, new direction that you're going into. You should be. You've been led to it. Okay, you've been looking for that balance, the scale here. You've been looking for that balance, that clarity with the sword. We've been looking at it. Then you found your magic, all of it. Okay, Dorothy, you can go anywhere. You can do anything. And you're ready. Okay, you're ready to go. This is just a remnants of you, like, taking that step and saying, I'm going. Things are moving, and I'm going in this direction. That's just the way it's going to be now. Okay? You've decided that's the way it's going, and that's the way you are. You're going in that direction. It's not a question anymore. It's a matter of when. All right, and the last card was the Nine of Cups. Beautiful card. Wishes and blessings coming to pass for you, Pisces. Okay, becoming a reality for you and in your life. That's like the outcome. That's what you're shooting for right now. Knight of Cups. Yeah. Yeah. You're, you're embracing this emotional release. And there's the Nine of Cups again underneath the deck here. Okay? So, you are embracing this, this new change. This emotional upheaval that you're, you're causing into your life. You've juggled a lot and you're not giving up on it. Okay? This is perseverance. This Nine of Wands. It's... You've been through so much. You've been determined. You've had fatigue. You felt wounded. You've guarded yourself. You've been strong. Um, but it's saying the road may have been harder than you initially thought. But please, 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 okay? That don't give up. You're almost there. And you're at that point. You know that you're almost there. Even with the upheavals that happen, you've juggled through all of this to make this happen. Spirit wants you to just keep going, okay? You have the power to adapt. The Two of Pentacles feels like such a card for Pisces. <clears throat> Given any situation, we take it and turn it into an apple pie, you know? So just, just keep going, Pisces, okay? Keep following the road that you're going on and just make it yours. You're doing fine. All right, so that has been the extended. I hope that you've enjoyed it. Um, I really appreciate you being here. I'm sending you lots of love, light, and blessings. And I will see you for in, tomorrow for another reading for, in this week, this very beautiful first week of January. We're going to keep looking at the energies. We're going to keep working on ourselves. We're going to keep getting there, Pisces. Sending you lots of love, light, blessings, love, light, blessings, love, light, blessings. Three times, okay? Take care of yourself. Keep working hard. And I'll see you tomorrow.